Well, Sunday of Holy Week was uh, action-packed as Jesus makes his triumphal entry into the city. And then Monday of Holy Week was pretty dramatic as Jesus clears the temple and confronts the religious leaders. But in many ways, Tuesday of Holy Week was the busiest day of the week. Tuesday was Jesus' last full day of public ministry, and he spends a lot of time teaching, uh, dealing with the religious leaders again. Uh, he tells some parables and spends a lot of time interacting with the crowds. In one sense, Tuesday is kind of Jesus' closing arguments for uh, himself, that he is the Messiah, the one they've waited for, the, the Son of God. And he begins to kind of clarify what he's come to do as the Messiah. And he leaves the people with the choice to either accept him or reject him. Now, Matthew, Mark, and Luke give you a couple of chapters worth of what he was doing on Tuesday of Holy Week. Here's a portion of that day from Luke's account. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 20. I'm going to read verses 1 through 19. One day Jesus was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the gospel. The chief priests and the scribes with the elders came up and said to him, Tell us by what authority you do these things, or who is it that gave you this authority? And Jesus answered them, I'll ask you with a question. Now tell me, was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? And as they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he'll say, Well, why didn't you believe him? But if we say from man, all the people will stone us to death, for they're convinced that John was a prophet. And so they answered, and we don't know where he came from. And Jesus said to them, well, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. And he began to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard and let it out to tenants and went to another country for a long time. When the time came, he sent service to the tenants so that they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty handed. And he sent another servant, but they also beat and treated him shamefully and sent him away empty handed. They sent a third. This one they also wounded and cast out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, what shall I do? I will send my beloved son. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they said to themselves, this is the heir. Let us kill him so that the inheritance may be ours. And they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and destroy those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When they heard this, they said, surely not. But he, Jesus, looked directly at them and said, what then is this that is written? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. And when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. You know, throughout Jesus' ministry, he would use examples and illustrations about land and farming and crops and vineyards to illustrate, you know, spiritual points so that people could understand. And in one sense, it, it kind of helped them to think about what were the kinds of things that were growing in their life. As you go through this Holy Tuesday, I would just encourage you to take some time and reflect on the kinds of things that are growing in your heart. Are there things growing in your heart that are helping you become uh, more convinced that Jesus is who he said he is, that are deep in your faith? Is there a growing love in your heart for Jesus? But is there anything creating a wedge, uh, a divide, a barrier between you and Jesus? Spend some time thinking about that and then ask Jesus to remove those things. Let's pray. Well, Jesus, as we go through this Tuesday of Holy Week, we pray that you would uh, just help us to think about the kinds of things that are growing in our hearts and our lives. Uh, things that are deepening our faith and, and expanding our love for you and then bring to our minds and our awareness to things that are weeds in our, in our lives. Things that are creating separation between us and, and you. And Father, we ask you just graciously, not just bring those to our, our awareness, but remove those things so we can be your faithful disciples, your committed followers in every season, no matter what. Help us to live for your glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.